guys. Uh, my name is Daniel Tomlinson, and I'm a drum instructor with California Keyboards Music Center, and have been doing that for over six years. And check this out. Uh, I want to talk to you today about a brand new uh, snare line that was introduced at uh, this year's NAM 2014, and it's called the Armory Snare Line. There's also a drum set series on this as well. And what makes this cool, I mean, first off, I want to show you this particular snare drum. I have two of the, I believe there's five or six different snare drums in this line, and I have two of them. And this one is called, because they all have unique names, which is kind of cool, um, this is called the Daisy Cutter. And actually, the story on this one, I mean, you can find this on the web too, but the story on this name was a Daisy Cutter is the name of a nuclear bomb. So one of the first ones that was made. So the idea here is that you hit this thing, boom, right? So it's going to be pretty loud when I demo this in a moment. But what's cool about this snare drum and the other one I'll show you is that the Armory, Armory snare lines take the bearing edges, which is the part where the drum head meets the shell of your drum, is usually the bearing edge is at a slant and there's an outside part where it's at its peak. And usually this is sharp and at angle, it's really fine. And when the drum head touches that, and as you tune it, you know, it stretches over the bearing edge and it resonates the shell. That's where you get all your tone of your snare drum or your toms or what have you. But uh, what's kind of hard about tuning snare drums is that when you stretch the drum heads and as you're tuning them up, say if you put a fresh head on the drum, uh, you're gonna have to tune it and then you're going to have to do kind of a CPR maneuver and stretch the drum head over the drum and keep tuning it and stretching it, tuning and stretching it to make sure the drum head is evenly stretched out over that bearing edge, if that makes sense. And uh, just by taking the, um, what the, what the uh, Mapex guys did for the armory snares was they took the bearing edge like this and they curved it inward. So it makes it easier for the drum head to make contact with it. So what that means in a nutshell for all the guys that don't want to be that techie about it is your snare drum tunes quicker, easier, and you don't have to do all of that CPR every time you put on a fresh drum head. And just for a drum to be in tune, um, all you need is a clear tone. So check this out. So because this has whopping volume, I'm going to put on some headphones here. idea, I hope anyway, from uh, e even our video that this thing is um, loud, it's full of tone, and it has a really clear, what I would describe as a dry tone. It's great for recording. So let me show you the other snare drum. And this, again, was the Daisy Cutter. It's a 6x14 hammered steel. I believe it's one millimeter thick. So now that's not to your liking and you want something wood, here's a cool one. This is called the Exterminator. And again, I think this is in the exact same depth, six by 14. And this is a birch walnut hybrid. You can just go on the Mapex website and figure out what birch and walnut will do for you compared to other woods. So anyway, um, let me demo this one for you. And this time I'll demo this one with a groove so we can kind of get that perspective as well. And of course, a little drummer trick here. Uh, you do the upside down headphones so you don't avoid, uh, or so that you avoid headphone hair. So anyway, that's the Mapex Armory uh, snare line, and there's more of them than just these. So this is really a great uh, line to check out. And uh, of course, everyone's wanting to know, where do I get them? Well, California Keyboards, of course. And we order them in, and we order them fast if we don't have them in stock already. So they're great, and they're all priced from Mapex Retail 260. No matter what snare drum, doesn't matter whether it's huge or small, they're all the exact same price, so it's great.